we are on our way um, to go pick up our poultry order for the year, or at least our first one for the year. Um, we are, it's June 6th, so we're a little late, um, but hopefully we'll have them big enough still for the fair. They called this morning and said they were in, um, but it was kind of a chaotic morning, so we are going to get them now. Um, thankfully, the way the way our feed company does this is that they order through um, two local hatcheries and they bring them, they get them in the mail like most places do and then um, they'll put them in a brooder for us and make sure that they're all eating and drinking and healthy and then they'll wait um, in the brooder until we're able to get there. Okay, ready? Let's go get our chicks. Sid, you're wearing my shirt. Putting the heat lamps, or the heat, not heat lamps, the radiant heaters. radiant heaters that we use for the coops, we also use for the brooders. So um, we brought this old watering trough down into our basement, um, and we're going to keep them in here for a few days. And so um, we have found that bricks work really well, and so... We have to move those bricks out to the outside edge a little more. But we are going to um, put one here and then one over here. We have the waters with the water, water -er with the electrolytes. And then we have lots of food for them. And um, we're just going to keep them all in this brooder um, for the next day or two. Um, because we will want to separate the meat chicks pretty soon. And um, right now they're all mixed together, so it'll just be easier. We have baseball in two hours, so it'll be easier if we just put them all in here for the night. And then um, tomorrow or Saturday, we move them to their permanent brooders. And so then it kind of mimics mama. It's nice and warm. And then um, they can get out both sides if they need to. And... Um, we have had really good luck with this in the past and so we have two of these going because we have so many um, little guys in here and um, it should keep them nice and warm. We did have, um, we did buy some electrolytes to put in their water just because it really helps with the stress and everything so um, these come in a three pack at your local farm store. It works really well um, and each one makes a gallon of water so we mix it up in like an old milk jug and then we just refresh as we need okay make sure none escape okay so lily's just gonna <laughs> the sides are really high aren't they lily's gonna dip the beak in the water so that they're they know where the water is now they already did this at the um at the Crystal Creek. So we're not too concerned because they're doing really well. But she just dips the beak there and then it's saying, where's my family? Hi. This one's a turkey. So that one's a turkey. 
Yep, so you want to really make sure that it knows how to drink. Did it drink? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you okay for walking? Come here. Can you hold this flashlight, bud? Nope, oh, the turkey's already in the water. Ah! But hold it in the thing. Kindness, please. Stay out of the water. There we go. Okay, oop, nope, but you want to keep it on the ground. So it takes a little bit of figuring out, okay? So you just want to take and dunk their little beak in. There we go. Just grab one. Okay, <laughs> one. When I grab the other one, it's going to come and peck me. Nope, don't worry about pecking. Okay, put it on the ground. There you go. Now it's just, yep, just like that. Perfect. You just want to get their beak right in the water so that he has to take a little drink. Okay, so just like that. There we go. Okay, so we had a change in plans. We went and got another thing to put the meat chicks in so that not everybody would be fighting over the food um and because we have like 34 36 meat chicks so um we figured it would be a little bit better and they don't move around as much as the other ones so we figured it'd be better to um get these guys separated sooner rather than later obviously little brooder is working well they can get under there they can get out both sides um, and then the bricks stay nice and warm too. So um, just depending on if they want how warm they want it, they can go further under or whatnot. So this seems to work really well. Um, we've used these for brooders now for three years, right, Lil, or is it two? Three. This is our third year using them. So um, we've not lost a chick yet. So um, they work really well, they're really safe. And um, they seem to really like it. They can go under and nap as often or as little as they want. And the rest of the area stays cool. So it really does mimic mom. Oh, yep. Yeah. There's a few of them right there. So it works really well. Cute little guys. And um, over in this one, we have four ducks, four turkeys, Four guineas and 12 layers. Eight pulps and four straight run. And they seem to all be pretty happy as long as we stop messing with them. Four guineas? Four guineas, yep. Oh, you're gonna be the troublemaker, aren't you? Yeah. They're all sleeping. They're all sleeping under there. 